Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. It's Rad from Radku Tarot and uh, in this whole video um, I'm going to perform for, for you a uh, weekly general tarot reading for Virgo for the upcoming week which is a uh, October 5th to October 11th uh, 2020 and uh, following your feedback uh, most of the people would prefer to look at the cards and that's why I have changed uh, the scenery with the camera facing down uh, on my table that I use. <clears throat> so let's see uh, what kind of a week you are gonna have to experience here. Right, so let's, down, let's uh, lay down the, uh, the cards and uh, see what you got. Right, so uh, the first uh, things first now, the first card shows up the, uh, the general team and the topic of your week, which is to be the King of uh, Swords. And then uh, the accompanied card to the King of Swords, that is to be the Devil card. And uh, it's quite interesting here because that pretty much shows in an a, a, a individual if you will, that doesn't cope very well with, um, uh, not with their emotions, but with their drive. Uh, that is a type of individual who always knows what is good to be done in a specific situation, in the situation that you and that individual are involved into, which could happen to be, you know, your... Um, your co-worker, it could happen to be as well your boss, your lover, your wife or your husband, regardless. Uh, although they do have certain vision, they do have certain wishes, it does look like that this cumulative situation that you both are to be involved throughout this week is going to call for a different actions uh, that uh, are kind of like um, go, goes the opposite way of uh, that, that individual wish, desire, and as well anticipation. And they're gonna cope with that very well. So in a sense of that, they will know that even though they get, they go against, you know, their, uh, their personal wish, they are doing the right thing, not just only for them, but they're doing as well the right thing for you and for the, uh, for the upcoming outcome of the situation itself. Now, this particular individual, they are very um, keen with their perception in a sense of that whenever something needs to be done, they always take their time to analyze it very well. So whatever uh, plan comes through that analyzation that they are doing, they can always transform it into rather quite ineffective uh, actions. So you can expect that some plans that you do have, uh, which are cumulative with someone else to really go through this week. And if you are trying to get through someone with uh, propositions, you know, or with some kind of an ideas, you may be surprised that throughout this week, this individual actually will this time around really listen to you. Uh, the next card here is going to show the setbacks and that is to be the king of cups in that particular situation. So we do have another guy and that will be also accompanied here with the two of pentacles. So uh, this one, uh, it's pretty clear that this one is going to try to beguile you out of uh, this um, of this approach that you are to have with uh, the King of Swords, okay? Beguiled you in a sense of the devil, try to either present you with a uh, different option available, like a variety of your plan, or straight away they will try to convince you that it ain't worth it. One of the two, and uh, this one here, actually it's a very convincing, giving it that uh, the Two of Pentacles is accompanying this uh, King of um, King of Cups, and they don't have. Don't get me wrong. They uh, this um, King of uh, Cups. It's uh, acting detrimental, or it's influencing in a detrimental way your um, your situation with the King of Swords, the prime situation of yours. But in the core of the matter, the King of Cups does not wishes you the worst. Okay, it's just. Take it like they are afraid that at the end of the day, you may end up hurt, you know, you may end up um, 
with your heart broken for example if this here is a uh, a love type situation and they just don't want to see you suffering and by their judgment they kind of like uh, this king of cups here based by their judgment they are judging against the king of swords and we are yet to see are they true or not but just because they are sitting here into the second position it kind of shows that they are judging a little bit prematurely here and are trying to in my country we do have that expression uh pulling a water from nine wells you know it's kind of like trying to make an argument out of nothing why you shouldn't follow the king of swords now on another level here which is completely general in that particular case it will be best you know if you do not take help or propositions from strangers right so the next one here is going to show what actually helps you throughout the particular week and we do have the ten of wands and it is accompanied with the ace of cups and you are to find yourself in a pretty similar situation with the king of swords where some of the aspects of the endeavor that you both are going to have you are not going to particularly like all right but that being said because you are to uh, fuse with the intellectual properties of the king of swords and i'm not saying that you don't have intellectual properties i'm just saying that they do have different intellectual properties or in another way it's say the situation is one you look at it from one angle they are looking at it from another angle from another angle therefore you do see the situation from all of the angles and by doing so you are to see that although you will have to um attend to rather irritating uh, aspects of the situation itself that you may find yourself into although you will have to do stuff that you are not going to be pleased doing not because they are bad but because you hate doing them and <clears throat> that it is the bottom line uh, you're also going to see that rewards are awaiting you at the end and here the ten of wands um, uh, tells you that should you be disciplined should you be consistent should you not run away from not from a challenge but from a responsibility if you will then at the end you are to accomplish a rather amazing goal okay this is all that uh, that, that that it is to it with those two cards and the sign of the uh, ace of cups sitting here accompanying the ten of wands it pretty much points that this isn't a spontaneous business this isn't a spontaneous rewards that you're going to get but in fact it's something that you have worked for a quite a while now and it will be a shame if you do leave it at the final straw if you will or at the end of the line just because this individual here the king of uh, cups kind of feels uncertain for your well-being um the the most typical example that i could give for that is say you do have um, a boyfriend you really love that boyfriend but your father doesn't like it and they are trying to convince you against your better judgment not to be with this person right and therefore you're finding yourself in a situation where it's not exactly pleasant you have to do things for example hiding your relationship that you don't want to do but at the end of the day you do know that you know you are going to have rewards coming out of it and so how the uh, week ends for you here that is going to be the ace of swords and is going to be accompanied here with the hermit now that is a quite interesting um quite interesting combo that we do have here uh, it pretty much speaks about some kind of revelations that you are going to have by the end of the week which are to be um, well, I, don't, I can't find the English word exactly, so I will try to use this one. So they're not exactly substantial um, in a sense of that you will realize that you still have a lot of time. You do still have a lot of margin to work with, OK, and to change and to play around with, etc, etc. So even though you have made some current mistakes, if you did, you haven't trust uh, traversed a, a point of no return so you can pretty much fix everything you don't like you can pretty much you know play around with aspects that you can't that you think that they could re they, they could turn out to be a better after that right you you pretty much have time to change whatever you do not like in your job in your relationship you know uh, and in generally in your world so yeah uh, just to summarize all that two people you have to side with one of them the other one will try to beguile you out of it the first one is going against their uh, their wishes just so they can be productive 
which you're in a cooperation, regardless if that cooperation is about a uh, love endeavor or career endeavor, you both have to work hard. And at the end, you are actually going to get further than you think you're going to get for you are going to have time to fix things or to polish more and become simply better. Right. So, uh, Virgo, that was your uh, weekly tarot reading, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and you do like it. If you do want to get in contact with me with uh, for for a private reading or you want to take a participation into my tarot classes, you can check the, the description down below in this video and there you're going to find all the information you need in order to do so. Now, that being said, uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye bye.